Ask any project manager. Managing a project can be humbling, overwhelming, and to tell you the truth, a super stressful experience. How does anyone manage to stay on top of it all? Manage all the schedules, pinpoint the super important tasks, make the processes work like clockwork. Three words, critical, path, method, or CPM for short. Every project consists of tasks, activities, and deadlines, all of which are interconnected. There are many ways you can approach project execution, and it's easy to spend a lot of time on unnecessary details or forget to do something really important, only to find out later in the project cycle when it's hard or expensive to fix. The critical path method lets you manage complex projects easily, avoid bottlenecks, and improve planning. Use it to never lose sight of a project's goal and keep bad surprises to a minimum. With the critical path method, you can determine the longest path to meet the deadline and identify the earliest start and finish dates. That way, you can know which activities are critical to getting to the finish line and determine the minimum time necessary to complete the project. CPM is not a new project management method. It's been around since the late 1950s. It was first used in DuPont, an American chemical company. The problem was that the company was falling behind schedule and needed a strategy to get back on track. The solution? Divide projects into thousands of tasks, followed by measuring how much time each task would take, and then critically assessing the entire process. And guess what? It worked. Ever since, it has been one of the most used techniques in project management. The critical path method consists of five steps. Identify activities, determine the sequence of activities, create a network of activities, determine the completion time for each activity, and find the critical path. Let's go through them. Break down the project structure into a list of tasks and activities, and determine the duration, time, and due date. Tasks that have nothing preceding them can start at any time. Some activities will depend on the completion of others. Putting them in the right sequence will give you a clear overview of their connection, and you'll be able to establish dependencies. Once you have determined how the activities are interconnected and depend on each other, you can make a diagram showing the critical path analysis chart and use arrows to connect the activities. Estimate how much time each activity will take. For smaller projects, you can estimate in days, and for bigger projects, in weeks. The last and most important step is to find the critical path. First, you need to determine the following parameters. Early start, ES, the earliest time to start working on the project. Early finish, EF, the earliest time to finish the project. Late finish, LF, the latest time to finish the project without delays. Late start, LS, the latest time to start the project without delaying the project. After determining the time parameters, do the forward and backward passes to determine the project duration and the critical path. The critical path is the longest path with the shortest duration to a successfully finished project, which means that any delay on any critical task will delay the entire project. Critical activities cannot afford any slack time. On the other hand, those activities which are not critical can be delayed to a point and it won't make a difference or cause the project to be delayed. If this reminds you of PERT, you're right. The two project management methodologies have some similarities, but they are also different. PERT calculates the time estimate based on a formula that takes into consideration the average time, pessimistic time, and optimistic time estimate. Click here to watch our video about PERT and find out more. In CPM, it's important to make a distinction between real critical tasks and those that are not. Don't let non-critical activities fool you though. If delayed for long enough, these activities can also become critical and delay the entire project. You have to sort out carefully which activities can be pushed back and for how long. How can you benefit from this method? CPM, of course, has its benefits. It gives you a clear insight into the project's timeline, task prioritization, and easy risk assessment. It will also help your team stay focused and you can redistribute assignments more efficiently. CPM gives you the big picture and lets you optimize your work for a better flow. We hope you liked this video. If so, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see next. Bye for now and thanks for watching. Project. <laughs> the last and most. Pert calculates the. Pert calculates the time estimate.